What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy Lucky Wheels and Deals. He keeps it lit. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the links below in the description for HiveMindLabs.com where you can unbig your back. Okay, we got that super fat burners in our house. All right, use the discount code Everyday PJ at checkout. Let's get it, man. Okay, uh, let's get to it. All right, join me tonight as we will be going live uh, over the town hall meeting. If they have one, which they usually do on the first of every month or the first Monday of every month. So we should expect a town hall meeting um, and we're going to react to what goes on. I mean, it's always chaos and commotion. And, and I think this time <laughs> they will not let us down. Okay, we're going to have a good, good, wholesome live okay over uh the city girl mayor so join me tonight um approximately 11 p.m central time okay now let's get into the video uh keith freeman uh charged with bankruptcy uh bankruptcy fraud so let's get into it the u.s attorney's office in chicago says keith freeman is not in federal custody tonight but they say the bankruptcy fraud charge against him is part of an ongoing federal investigation uh, good evening, Mayor, uh, trustees, Madam Clerk. This is the now indicted Dalton Village Administrator Keith Freeman at a past board meeting presenting the nitty gritty of the South Suburbs strained finances. Those were the bills that we were sued for. Freeman filed for personal bankruptcy earlier this year and in doing so federal prosecutors say the dual serving Dalton Administrator and Thornton Township Municipality Manager repeatedly lied about his income and employers. Our job is to make sure we take care of the business. A close ally of embattled mayor Tiffany Henyard. Freeman's role has been a constant source of confusion to some Dalton trustees. They took it upon the, themselves, the administration, to make changes where he, he was um, looked as if he was contracted. In his bankruptcy filing and subsequent meetings with the feds, prosecutors say Freeman lied under oath, claiming, quote, he was not an employee of the village of Dalton and that he did not get paid by Dalton. A month later, the indictment says his Dalton paycheck went directly into a newly opened, undisclosed bank account. Some Dalton residents and business owners have been hitting the alarm for months. If he can't handle his own business, <laughs> this how in the world can he handle ours? I hope that this is the beginning of a new day for Dalton. Tuesday, Keith Freeman was nowhere to be seen at Dalton Village Hall. We tried to reach Keith Freeman several different ways on Tuesday, but we never heard back. A rep for Mayor Tiffany Henyard says she's refraining from any comment on an ongoing investigation. A top advisor to Dalton's mayor making his first appearance in federal court. Keith Freeman entered a not guilty plea to a scheme to commit bankruptcy fraud. The village administrator and manager of Thornton Township is accused of underreporting income from his jobs and from his private consulting business. We're ready to defend. Uh, with, with, with everything we have, anything that comes Mr. Freeman's way. Freeman's attorney says he has no plans to step down from his positions. He also says this case has nothing to do with any other federal investigations. We've had a, a couple of questions directed to me uh, about whether or not this indictment means that uh, the, the government is effectively trying to squeeze Mr. Freeman into cooperation. And a few days after Freeman was indicted, the FBI served two subpoenas at Dalton Village Hall. If you look at the subpoenas, they're very specific. Renato Mariotti is a former federal prosecutor. We reached out to him to find out what he thought about the recent developments. There appears to be an active federal investigation, um, and uh, they, it, it certainly looks like the feds have something. They're not just uh, fishing. Dalton's government is marred in accusations of misspending lawsuits and probes. Tuesday, Mayor Tiffany Henyard and Freeman were hit with another lawsuit. This one filed in federal court by business owner Tyrone Isom Jr. I was really excited when I came across uh, that property because I was just waiting to put my stamp on Dalton so I can help the youth. Isom says he bought this property on Sibley Boulevard for $85,000. He says he remodeled it, first hoping to open a barber shop, then a tattoo shop. But he claims his applications for business licenses were denied with no explanations as to why. He's finally told, nope, the mayor wants the property. Unable to open a business at the location, Isom says he was forced to sell the property. He's seeking compensatory damages plus attorney's fees. 
The village declined to comment on the lawsuit. As for village administrator Keith Freeman, he's expected back in court June 5th. All right, everyday people. So let me tell you what I think about this situation. Uh, as I'm looking at this, one has nothing to do with the other. Okay. The raid that happened at Dalton Township has nothing to do with his actual bank findings of his bankruptcy court. I think there's such a bright scope. They're trying to find any criminality and exposing these people, trying to create a, 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 a narrative within the uh, public so you can they can be crucified in the court of public opinion. We've seen this happen over and over uh, when someone is when someone is like uh, I guess you would say they uh, been accused of something and everything that comes out is pretty much. Um, pretty much anything that comes out that looks bad they want to shine light on it say look this person's a crook over here oh look this person's a crook over here his personal finances has nothing to do with the spending that's happening at um dalton now uh he is not one of the trustees that are that sides with mayor henyard so we're gonna figure that out we're gonna see if keith freeman shows up to um the village town hall meeting i don't know if this is a uh, city of the whole meeting or whatever council of the whole something like that cow that's what they call it um we're gonna see if uh if andrew holmes if he shows up uh we saw in the last he did not show up to the last town hall meeting okay and the lady who spoke on the on this uh, video now, as we saw this lady speaking at the last town hall meeting i thought she was just a random person but no they actually have a lot of people who are speaking out against the uh this administration and we're gonna see how far this goes again where there's smoke there's fire but we can't really convict anybody but with the court of public opinion okay uh the fact that they uh, one hand is not showing what the other hand is doing as far as the trustees are not showing the administration which Tiffany Hanger and uh, Tiffany Hanger is not showing the trustees so they have a little conflict of interest right there which I think all this stuff will open up the FBI will be getting the information from the trustees and I believe once they re release their first report we'll be able to see what is exactly in and, and both sides um, maybe the FBI could get information that the trustees haven't been able to get uh, we'll see how much Tiffany Henry is willing to cooperate see that's where we will know how like we'll know what's really going on if she's really trying to hide something if she does not cooperate then I think uh, more red flags will come up and then you know eventually she'll have to step down eventually if she's not willing to cooperate if she doesn't show any of those receipts i believe that uh her time will come to an end real soon and the feds will make it then you'll just have an open seat and you'll have to have someone step in which by the looks of it it'll be somebody crooked too so but right now tiffany Henry is the is the head of this and then we're looking at andrew holmes for the sa um that the uh criminal act that he did in las vegas um and then the cover-up okay see that's what that's what's bringing all the light to it um is that situation right there and the fact that it happened in las vegas um to a, a township employee a, a dalton township employee and 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 i think at that point that person may be the next whistleblower because she feels that um, Mayor uh, Mayor Henyard does not have her back when it comes to women. Women should stand up for each other when it comes to something like that. So I'm very surprised that Tiffany Henyard won't uh, won't acknowledge that situation or try to cover it up. Like that's very crazy. Um, so everyday people, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>
we getting lit today because we got a package from opulent sense there you go opulent sense yes we got us a pair of packages we got us a total of three candles and we got some foam and bath wash now, i'm gonna try this out tonight okay um because over here at the everyday people ain't nothing sweet but the chardonnay okay but we're gonna take this foam and bath wash we're gonna be sweet today i wonder what i could use that on anyway so we got the foam and body soap and this is i believe it's a burberry flavor mm. too bad i got allergies but I, it's strong enough you can smell it through your allergies that's crazy okay also i have a uh, candle it says pass me not oh gentle savior hit the cash app cash app everyday pj okay also this is the burberry scent now this dude this does have specific directions and what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the wick to one fourth inch approximately six millimeters before lighting Keep candle free of any foreign materials, including matches and wick trimmings. Burn only the candle on a level. Fire resistant service. Do not burn the candle for more than four hours at a time. Okay. So we're gonna take the pass me not. She 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 named this specific scent after the communion. If you watch my lives, you know we do communion. And our song is Pass Me Not, uh, O Gentle Savior. Okay, and we do that so you can don't pass me up and hit that cash app. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this wick. I got my blick, flick your bick. Oh, pass me not, oh gentle savior. Hit the cash app here. My humble cry while on others thou art call all in do not pass me by hit the cash app make sure y'all hit the links down below in the description we got opulent scents where you can get your three wick candle or the single wick candle and you can get your foam and or foam body bath scrubber stuff. Anyway, keep your lid big, dog. Peace.